Okay, so for the eggplant filling, what you're going to do, you get your eggplant. I'm going to kind of wash it off. And now you've got to soak your eggplant before you cook it for about a half an hour. So I'm going to go ahead and peel it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a bucket of water. Bucket. So I'm going to get a, a bowl of water and some salt. Just, um, you know, tap water. It doesn't have to be warm. So what you want to do is you're going to cut this up in cube sizes. And you're going to let it soak for about a half an hour. Um, and then you're going to squeeze out the water from the eggplant. So just going to go ahead and fill that up. And now I take a, um, a little food peeler, whatever that is. And then I just, sometimes it's hard to start, but I just peel my eggplant. And then I'll cut it up into um, cubes. And then you want to do the same thing. You want to have some diced um, onions. And what you're going to do is you're going to marinate this. And I'll have the recipe for this as well. I'll link it, or actually I'll have it on um, the bottom of the page. And then I'll also have it at the front of the video. So if you missed it, just go back to the beginning of the ouch. A little prickly thing. Um, go back to the front of the video and it will have um, the ingredients, measurements, and all that good stuff. Alright, so just get this off as much as you can. And I never realized that that top part was so prickly. But it is. So I'm going to cut that off. And it's okay, if they're gonna turn color, it'll turn like a kind of a dingy color, but it's all right. The salt in the water will prevent it from getting too bad, but when you cook it, it's gonna turn kind of brown anyway, so not that big of a deal. These, I think, are our absolute favorite barrecas, the eggplant ones. They're so tasty. Sometimes it can be heartburn, but it's worth it. Um, so we're actually gluten free, believe it or not. Uh, not that you can tell, this um, recipe is wheat. But um, I've tried to make these gluten free, and it just, I personally didn't like it. My husband said that. Um, he thought it tasted okay, the dough, but I didn't. I just didn't care for them. So we're not. Um, we don't have celiacs, so it's not like we have to be gluten free. But um, I do. I'm gluten free because I get headaches from the gluten, and my husband has fibromyalgia, and it helps with um, anti inflammatory It's like anti-inflammatory, I guess. I say diet, but got diet, I guess. So I'm going to just make cube sizes. And I'm sure my cutting skills are probably not the best. Though. It doesn't matter. They're going to, it's going to wilt, they're going to wilt anyways. And, um, when they, sit, when they cook, it's gonna cook down. So I just want kind of cube sizes that it's mainly can soak up the water. So, all right, so do that with your whole eggplant. And then you're gonna finely dice onions. Go ahead and get that ready. We like onions, so I'm gonna use one large onion for this, but it's kind of up to you if you're not a big onion lover. But onion and garlic add so much yumminess to recipes. So 
go ahead and use as many onions as you'd like. I could probably use more onion because it's so good. But I should take some knife skill classes, but oh well. Okay, so I'm back to do the um, eggplant filling. So the recipe calls for a large eggplant, a large onion, two tablespoons of tomato sauce, three tablespoons of vegetable oil, teaspoon of salt, a half a cup of Parmesan or Romano cheese. I usually use the combination one. Um, one egg, a tablespoon of instant potato flakes, and a teaspoon of sugar. So it pains me to use so much oil. And I never do use the full amount. <laughs> My husband's like, hmm, it tastes good, but it doesn't taste like the ones from the synagogue. Well, it's probably because I don't use as much oil. But anyways, um, so I'm heating up my oil and I am going to saute my onions. It does not call for garlic. This recipe does not call for garlic, but I am going to add garlic because, I mean, come on, face it, garlic makes everything taste better. And I'm going to also salt and pepper it. You don't need a lot of salt because the cheese and um, the the cheese and the um, dough have a lot of salt in it, so I'm going to use a lot of onion though. I didn't like the size of my red onion, so I'm using white onion and red onion. Now I'm going to saute this, and I'm, I'm trying to find a spoon, okay, well, whatever. So I'm going to saute this until they're nice and clear, and then I'm going to add in, I'm going to, actually I'm going to go ahead and add some salt and pepper. Go. So we're going to add a teaspoon of salt. Again, this is probably why mine doesn't taste quite as good as the synagogue. I just can't do a teaspoon. So I did about a half a teaspoon of salt. I actually um, eat pretty healthy and it pains me to kind of cook this way, <laughs> but anyways, uh, we don't eat these too often. We freeze them and um, we have them as a snack every once in a while. We'll go through our phases where we eat a ton of them, a ton of them. We eat a couple of them at a time, um, but still not that bad. So. Let these babies saute, and then I'm going to add a little bit of um, garlic, but I'm, I think I'm going to add the garlic when I add the eggplant because you don't want the garlic to burn. And this is a cast iron skillet, actually. That the outside isn't, the inside is. Well, actually, I guess the ins both it, inside and outside, but it has a coating in the inside. Um, and it actually is a really nice pan. So, this one's just big enough for all my eggplants and stuff. So, I'm going to just let this saute. I have a couple of big pieces of onion. I guess when it gets soft, I can cut them. Okay, so we let that saute a little bit. I wonder if I should add those other onions in or not. Yeah. That's a lot of onion in it. But I'm 
really don't taste the onion. That's a crazy thing. When I usually just use one onion, it calls for one large onion, so that's about an onion and a half, I guess. It's not that bad, not too much more. So I'm gonna let this saute. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and drain my um, eggplant. So what you do is you just, I'm gonna drain out the water from the bucket and then you just squeeze it out. And I squeeze it out into the bucket and then I put the eggplant in here as I go. All right, so I think my onions are pretty good. So I have my eggplant here and I drain the water so I'm just going to take it out. As I take them out, I'm just going to squeeze them. Not a ton of water in there, but... I'm also going to add my garlic um, if I get all my eggplant in here. I'm sure there's a better way to do this. But. A lot of eggplant. This is a big eggplant. Our last batch, the eggplant wasn't quite this big. Mix it up. Let it burn. And I'm cooking it over um, medium high heat. what it is. Alright, so we're going to add a little garlic. It's going to do like a, I don't know how much that is. About a teaspoon and a half. Keep this mixed up. And this is all going to break down. You get a whole different color and everything. Just keep it mixed. Okay, i got to add in my other ingredients right now too, but I just want to mix this up. Alright, so we have the garlic. Little sugar. So I'm going to do a teaspoon of sugar. And I'm going to do a tablespoon of these instant potatoes. Just the instant, um, sorry, instant regular potatoes. Tablespoon of those, or a little more. All right. 
and then it calls for two tablespoons of tomato sauce, but we are going to do four. We might even add more. Because again, I've made these quite a few times, but we usually get them over um, Hanukkah at the at the synagogue, and theirs tastes a little different than the mine do. The mine do, and the recipe is from their recipe book. So we're gonna try to gonna try to make it tastes more like theirs. There are little seeds in theirs and we can't figure out what it is. I think sometimes they leave out secret ingredients. So when you make it at home, it can never taste as good as when you buy it from them. But they're still really good at home. I think this is gonna be better with a little extra tomato sauce, a little garlic. All right. I'm going to let this cook down. Let's take this piece out. So you're going to let this cook for probably about a half hour. And then at the end, we'll add in our cheese. And the egg doesn't go in until the very, very end, until it cools down, once it cools down. And once it cools down, we'll put it in our, in our dough. And I guess they're like little turnovers, I suppose. They're called barecas. Alright, I'm gonna let that cook. And let's make sure we got everything in there. Tomato sauce, sugar, salt, and some potato flakes. Alright. So we are now gonna let this simmer for about a half an hour. And I'm gonna I think I'm gonna add a little bit more tomato. I think they add fresh tomatoes for some reason. Because these little clumps in there are like, I don't know, peppers or tomatoes or something. But and all this eggplant will break down and it'll kind of be mushy. Not very appetizing looking, but it's really, really good. Alright, I think I'm going to turn down the heat a little bit to like medium lowish. Let that cook. Right. Okay, so here is my mixture. And it's cooled down some. So now what you're going to do is you're going to add your cheese and your egg. Um, the eggplant as you see, it's really reduced down. So the eggplant, you can kind of smush it so they're not such big pieces. Or you can leave it, doesn't matter. But, I don't know. Anyways, I like to smush it. All right, so, got one egg. And you need your Parmesan, I don't know if you're out. You need your Parmesan, this is Parmesan Romano Parmesan cheese. It's kind of half-half, because I'm not prepared and I didn't have the entire amount of the mixture one, but that's okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and, my husband's like, don't add too much cheese, because it's already so good. So I'm going to put like <clears throat> half of the amount in and then my husband is going to come over here and taste it because I have, I'm wearing Invisalign and I can't <clears throat> taste it so, well maybe he's not coming to taste it. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna kind of do it to taste. I mean, 
I personally don't think you can go wrong with too much cheese, because, I mean, come on. Cheese is amazing, right? Okay. So I'm just going to mix this up. And then what you're going to do at the very end is you're going to you're going to put in one egg. Just beat the egg <clears throat> and then mix it in. And it just kind of um, is like a binding agent, I guess. That looks pretty good. I don't know. I might. I think I'm going to add it all in because. I wish I could taste it. All right, so taste it, make sure it's not, you know, just taste it as you go, kind of do it to taste the cheese. Uh, and then beat your egg, add that in, mix it, and then you're ready to go ahead and start um, forming the pastry doughs. And I'll show you how to do that um, in a minute. <clears throat> I'm gonna show you the, spinach mixture as well.